Well, the peak of cold and flu season typically runs from December through February, and that means a lot of runny noses, sore throats, coughs, and sneezes. And with the holidays more than a month behind us, believe it or not, we're still dealing with the decisions to drink and eat a little more and walk and run a little less. And those decisions are now generating complaints at the doctor's office. And it's just one of the problems currently bugging Metro Detroit. What are you seeing in your practice these days? Yeah, we are seeing definitely a lot of uh, kids and adults coming in with sore throat. Dr. Brandon Carmo of Ascension Orchard Primary Care in Farmington Hills says one of the first questions from patients complaining of a sore throat is, is it strep? Dr. Carmo says the symptoms can give you a major clue. Strep throat is, is caused by a bacterial infection. Uh, it does not usually have a cough. So that's one of the big distinguishing factors between that. And while colds, the flu, and strep can all cause a fever, strep may also cause swollen glands under one or both sides of the jawline. And with strep, you may also see small white spots on the tonsils or the back of the throat. These type of signs and symptoms, uh, along with the pain with swallowing, difficulty, you know, drinking fluids, eating food, this could be a sign that it's strep throat. Dr. Carmo says RSV and COVID have been trending down, but the flu is still driving people to care. At Doctors Urgent Care in Shelby Township, they're also treating a lot of strep throat with antibiotics and watching pink eye affect people of all ages. The biggest thing that I'm seeing that is a little bit different than usual. That's Dr. Asha Shahjahan, a family physician and medical director of community health at Corwell Gross Point Hospital. She says she's treating a lot of new onset hypertension. People coming in with symptoms of you know, chest pain, headaches, uh, just feeling more fatigued. Uh, and then it turns out that they have high blood pressure. And Dr. Shah Jahan says holiday behavior like eating and drinking more can increase blood pressure. People have kind of gained a little bit of weight, maybe have been more inactive because of the winter months. If your blood pressure is just a little elevated, first line treatment will be lifestyle changes. Reducing salt in your diet, sleeping enough, getting your weight down, and your exercise up. But if your blood pressure is too high, expect those lifestyle modifications to come with medication. Because that's the only way we can kind of get it down to a good level. Now, Dr. Shah Jahan says she's also seeing fewer cases of RSV, flu, and COVID, that triple-demic we were tracking earlier this winter. And that may be in part because more people are able to control COVID at home with better treatments and more vaccinations. However, she says she still sees at least one case of COVID every day.